Welcome to Sardinia, an island of the Italian coast. It's known as paradise on earth for climbers. With an abundance of rock and an infinite amount of area still to be developed, this is the perfect place to bring a strong team of athletes. And that's exactly what Vibram did. Vibram makes all kinds of rubber for various shoes and boots, but the focus of this athlete team meeting is to shoot and create content for their new approach to rubber and for their climbing rubbers. This is also a good occasion for the team to meet, climb together and learn from each other. Hey guys and welcome back to Climbing Daily. Today and for the whole weekend we're here on the beautiful island of Sardinia. We're in this amazing gigantic cave and let's go meet the team. I was here two years ago and uh, I was amazed by this place. I mean, look at this, it's like a giant hole and there's two of us all over the place. I'm both an athlete, but I'm also the athlete manager. I'm like in between the company and the athlete. I try to make both interests uh, um, work. Right, let me introduce you to some of the team members. First up, we have 17-year-old Orian Berton, a promising young talent from the Reunion Island. We're used to seeing her on short and powerful Fontainebleau boulders, but today the roots in this cave will be testing her endurance. Here we have Barbara Zangle, also known as Babsy. She's an all-around climber, from big walls to boulders, she's one of the best. As a warm-up, she chose to climb Millennium, a 7C plus route which starts off on tufas and ends on a savage overhang. So Ava is actually just about to try Le Lion de Panchir. It's an 8B+. She already put up with quick draws, so we're going to stay very quiet. And good luck, Ava. Over the past years, Ava Hammermuller has proven to be a fierce competition climber in bouldering and lead. Today, Ava worked on this route, guided by Jorg, who previously climbed it. Lyon du Penchir spans across the whole right side of the cave and continues up into the roof for a total of 50 meters of climbing. Okay, I can do no more move. <laughs> and then you keep on fighting and fighting, and it's not only that you can pump your whole body so tired because you're, oh. you're squeezing those <laughs> too fast and oh, oh that was so that impressive. exhausting. I'm so happy that I tapped it because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to make another go. <laughs> How long was the rope? Uh, more than 50, yeah, I think. 50 something. <laughs> 50 the rope is 80, yeah. and it was barely possible to go down. Yeah. So. How many quick draws? 
I had 19 and I think you would need 27, 28. Yes. <laughs> so I had to Too skip many. quite a lot. Yeah. But I mean, when it's so steep, it doesn't really matter. We it's could do a giant pendulum now. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's cool. We spent okay. so much time hugging the, the, the volume. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I used my head to push myself into the walls <laughs> so that my hands get a bit of a rest. <laughs> hugging one and yeah. squeezing another. Yeah, squeezing one head against <laughs> the other. Yeah.